We got ourselves some March Madness happened last night. Yeah, we did. My madness. alma mater got bounced by Villanova, and uh, two one seeds got sent packing last night. Kelvin Sampson, who called us up uh, on the bus ride to San Antonio, talking about how um, he was uh, excited to get to a spot where they've played a couple times in San Antonio. I guess it's kind of like their second home in a way, and the fans were all there, and Houston took care of business. Did they ever. Did they not? Sending Arizona packing, and it really wasn't much of uh, of a a game. I mean, it got tight a couple of times, but every single time Arizona got within striking distance, Houston made the plays. Yeah, it got and down to shots. maybe six, maybe four, and then bang, they would just connect on a couple, back up to ten. It was. It never felt like Arizona was in it to me last night. And it's all about journeys, right? That's what we. That's what we talk about in college basketball and in sports in general. But in college basketball, the journeys and as Kelvin Sampson was talking about the other day. Uh, two guards from last year's Final Four team, Marcus Sasser and Tremont Mark, went down for the year within uh, hours of each other. And this team was kind of in December um, reeling without a compass in a way. And Kelvin Sampson was kind of their compass and now put it all together. And this team is one step away from going to back-to-back Final Fours. The team they're going to face is Villanova. Let me tell you, man. Did I tell you Connor Gillespie was going to rip my heart out and show it to me pumping at some point last night? Michigan did a very good job of yeah. keeping him down. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, But he made the huge shot at the end of the game. Huge three. And, I mean, if you squint, you could see Dante DiVincenzo on the screen right there. It's this, <laughs> You know? Yeah. But what Villanova does is just – make shots and make the right pass and make the right hustle plays and get the right rebounds and play some hard-nosed basketball. Did you see what Jay Wright's career record is in the NCAA tournament? It's 33 and 13. Did you see what the record is since 2016? It's 19 and 3. Yeah. That's bonkers. I mean, this guy just knows how to recruit, knows how to put his players in the right position. They they just do everything right. Very rarely do you see them make a boneheaded play. Mm-hmm. They're just a tough out, a very, very tough out. And Villanova and Houston, that is going to be a heck of a regional final that's coming up on Saturday for the right to go to the final four. And then there's Gonzaga once again. I mean, this is easily the most picked apart, top-notch program in the United States of America because nobody really watches them play all their games. I mean, let's be honest, for a top-five program, you know, you got to stay up late at night to see some of their games. You know, and some coaches' classics or Maui classics or what have you in December, you're introduced to the, the, the players and the team and... Some of these kids who are going to go on to the NBA and it's like, this is the year. They're going to finally do it. And this team has made this this group, organization, school program has made seven straight Sweet 16s. They've made two national finals in the last five. And no net cutting down unless you want to talk about their, you know, conference championship or their regional championship once they get to a uh, a um, an NCAA tournament. And last night, you know, you could say Chet Holmgren got hosed a little bit by the officiating. Mm-hmm. But when it all comes down to it, man, Arkansas had the players. Yeah. Arkansas had the players making the threes, slashing to the hoop, getting every one of those hustle plays. Again, Kelvin Sampson calls them culture plays because that's the sort of thing he wants to make about their culture in Houston. But Arkansas, getting it done, bouncing Gonzaga, which will then go back home empty-handed once again. And it's Arkansas moving on because they've got the players, they've got the team, and they've got that coach, Eric Musselman 
who, you know, has been bouncing around, going from program to program, making him successful, and he looks just like Adam Gase without the losing. <laughs> without the losing. <laughs> he was, he went crazy last night after that one. And why not? It you was, know what I love most? He goes too? from program he goes from program to program. He makes yep. them winners. Mm-hmm. And NBA he, and college. And he gets them deep. And you know what I like most, TJ, was when afterwards he was like, Yeah. We read everything everybody said. Yeah. Not one of those things where like, oh, we're just blinders on, rap poison. We don't we're pay not. attention to he's the like, noise. Yeah. He's like, no, we read everything. We saw every video. We it. heard what everyone and he said. thanked him. Yeah. Thank you for providing the inspiration to, for us to get this win. And Pig also, Suey. Th- that kid Jalen Williams made himself a couple extra bucks last night, yeah. too. Holy cow. He's a good player, isn't he? Man, and just the way the defense, the charges he takes in that three he hit. Like, Jalen Williams... Now the question Bumped is, up is, his value. is, does that team have the horses? And is Eric Musselman the right type of crazy, which I think he is? <laughs> I think he is. Is he the guy that's going to retire Coach K? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.